Good afternoon and welcome to the last edition of this year's FOD Hours. As you know, we have 82 innovative practices and innovative policies, and this process concludes a journey which started in late spring of last year. We opened our call for nominations on employment for persons with disabilities and information and communication technology. We started to evaluate at the beginning of July from over 475 nominations and being on topic and fulfilling the criteria of innovation, impact, and scalability. At the end of the summer, and after two rounds of evaluations, we announced the longest shortlist ever with 178 innovative practices and policies on it. And after the voting, we were able to announce the winners in fall. You might have noticed that we tried to avoid one expression, winner. We think that everyone is a winner who engages in the Zero Project and shares knowledge and experiences benefiting persons with disabilities. It's a great joy and honor to have Johanna Mang with me. Good afternoon, Johanna. Um, thank you for coming. And uh, let's start with the first part of the Evody videos, please. Thank you. What is guideline for inclusion about? The guideline creates equal training opportunity for persons with disabilities in Tibet college. It tries to create accessible environment uh, in training college focusing on training uh, to graduation for youth with disabilities. How does guideline for inclusion work? So after the discussion with the Federal Tibet Agency, it was agreed that there should be some kind of uh, guideline or manual that uh, would help the teachers uh, the, and uh, the technical in the, the, the Tibet College uh, ensure inclusive uh, education and provide the necessary uh, uh, trainings to students with disabilities. So afterwards, we have a, we have a discussion also with some partners. So uh, they agreed to finance this guideline, and uh, that was how uh, it happened. What is unique and innovative about Guideline for Inclusion? As far as I know, uh, the preparation of this guideline is unique because um, in the TBT uh, program, there was no disability-specific guideline that uh, uh, helps the implementers for the promotion of a disability issue in the sector. So this, this is a, a unique experience that enabled the TBT program uh, to have a specific disability specific guideline for the facilitation of people with disabilities to be included in the TBT program. What is next for guideline for inclusion? In order to uh, scale up the implementation of the guidelines, uh, uh, just we try to provide training for Tibet leaders and uh, trainers, so we should uh, uh, continue this uh, provision of training. How did this solution help you? Tibet <laughs> We are deaf women, and we make paper bags to fight plastic pollution in Ethiopia. We had to grow into learning we were different. We were excluded and didn't have a lot of friends. But by embracing our differences, 
Soon, we realized we could make a real change. Not only for us, but to help other deaf women. When you're not able to hear, you see things more acutely. And when you really open your eyes, you can see the beauty of the world, but also its fragilities and the consequences of our human destructiveness. Was this really the Ethiopia we wanted to leave to our children? We all had dreams and knew that we could accomplish much more than society expected of us. To do so, the first step was to make us heard, to write our own story. We knew we could unite our strengths to overcome challenges, not only to have jobs and be independent, but to go beyond and do something meaningful for our country and our planet. We joined Techie to create the first paperback company in the world entirely run by a deaf woman. Isn't that beautiful to be able to use Ethiopian sign language to fight against plastic bags? Today, we already replaced more than a million plastic bags, but it's not enough. Much more needs to be done. But how can one accept having to turn down a deaf woman coming to our door with hope that she too can make a change? It is heartbreaking, so we need support to grow. At Tiki, we have a dream. The dream to convince our government to reserve the entire paperback sector to us, living with a disability. Then in a few years, when Ethiopia starts to ban plastic bags, we could create thousands of meaningful jobs. Jobs that change lives. What is Passwerk about? The innovation of Passwerk is that we focus on talents of people with an autism spectrum profile instead of limitations and we combine this with a tailor-made approach. Via career-long job coaching, we provide the coaching adapted to the specific needs of our consultants. How does Passwerk work? We operate as cooperative with social aid. Currently, we have two IT companies involved as shareholders and four not-for-profit organizations. At the start, some business angels were also shareholders. What is unique and innovative about Passwerk? We developed our solution because more than 80% of people with diagnosed autism are unemployed or have a job below their capacities. Two directors active in not-for-profit organizations focusing on people with autism assisted to a conference in Warsaw about autism. A Dutch entrepreneur presented during that conference the company Autist, working with people on the spectrum. They were inspired by this story and when they came back they were motivated to start up a company in ICT with employees on the spectrum. What is next for Passwerk? First of all, continue with our main objective, namely increase the employment of as much as possible people on the spectrum in a regular economy. Secondly, continue to contribute to the improvement of the quality of life of people on the spectrum. Third, a further expansion. Fourth, a further diversification in services even outside ICT. And last but not least, continue to support the International Natural Network of NeuroWorks, a global organization focusing on employment of people on the spectrum. How did the solution help you? Passwork has given me opportunities to fully employ my skills in the IT sector. My job coach, who is very important, enables me to go to work without the stress finding customers and projects. 
My co-workers understand me better because Passwork informed them about my autism. What is Poi Labs about? So we didn't create this solution only by ourselves. We closely work with the visual disabled community. So it's based on real needs and it's continuously improved by their feedbacks. So we created and developed the technology, but all the insights uh, came from the visual disabled community. So I think this is a great mixture for the site. How does Poi Labs work? For this project, they are not looking for a profit, but in order to make it sustainable and keep it growing, we ask the venue owners for a setup fee. In addition, we provide the beacons and also the service for free. In order to make our company sustainable, we use the same technology for other services like indoor analytics, uh, proximity marketing, and also staff and asset tracking solutions. What is unique and innovative about Oil Labs? When I was in university, I was working voluntarily in an NGO and they had projects on visually disabled community. I had chance to understand their, their daily struggles. So we founded Poi Labs in order to improve their lives using uh, technology. So our technology does not require an additional device. It is accurate and also it's widely used, especially in Turkey. What is next for Poi Labs? Currently, our solution is only available in Turkey, so our first priority is to expand it globally, especially uh, Europe. So we are looking for partners in those countries that can help us uh, expand our solutions. Secondly, uh, we are now only focusing on large venues and we want to expand it to shops, small stores, and make all the venues available and accessible for visual disabled community. How did this solution help you? special window is the accessibility and easiness. It brings my life. Uh, it was hard for me to walk in big and complex places that I don't know of and I've never been to. Now that uh, I have a uh, blindors uploaded in my phone, I feel safer and guided. I think it should be more common in places that we use in every day, like libraries, offices and supermarkets. I hope that more and more people should start to offer the solution in these places. What is Seco Chile about? The essential elements of our innovations are promote car washing without using water, protect a natural resource such as water, and support the integration and labor inclusion of people with disabilities. How does Seco Chile work? We like to find a company with an international presence or an entrepreneur who wants to replicate and finance this innovative and sustainable service to develop it in any major city in the world where there are so many cars and many people with disabilities waiting for a decent job. What is unique and innovative about Seco Chile? We are mixing needs and opportunities. It is a unique idea that allows you to wash cars without water, without any kind of equipment, along with the importance of supporting labor inclusion. How did this solution help you? By supporting people who do not have opportunities like many, I am giving meaning to my life and to my work. Especially when I am supporting people who are disabled like me. And in many cases, disabilities 
much more severe than mine. And if you add that you help protect a natural resource, there is, there is no doubt it. it. It's a great thing. It, it, it is a great project. What is Inclusionmade.com about? At Inclusionmade.com, we narrated the way companies met applicants with disabilities. Before Inclusionmade, companies willing to hire people with disabilities needed to go NGO by NGO to find only a few applicants with disabilities. By creating Inclusionmade, we streamlined a flow of talented applicants with disabilities. At the same time, we train recruiters on how to evaluate applicants with disabilities, putting disability first. We also create an online learning platform aimed at helping people with disabilities to improve their skills and be more prepared for the job market. How does inclusionmade.com work? We don't charge a penny to applicants with disabilities. The revenue stream comes from companies. We make money via fee-based membership charged to large companies, and we also create on-demand consulting services in order to help these companies aiming to hire people with disabilities. What is unique and innovative about inclusionmade.com? We are the only organization that works in eight countries in Latin America, addressing both education and employment for people with all types of disabilities. We have the experience of working with 500 companies from all industries and the trust of more than 200,000 job seekers with disabilities registered in our database. What is next for inclusionme.com? In the following five years, we want to employ more than 500 people with disabilities per month while working with 2,000 companies. Our goal is to create a systemic change empowering the employment of persons with disabilities by influencing public policies and access to formal education. How did the solution help you? Before this, I was feeling kind of stuck in an area I didn't have many opportunities in because of my disability. But now I feel like I have a new chance to start over and go to a different path um, in a field that I believe is not only very popular, but also very inclusive. Congratulations to all our winners from Africa, Europe, and South America. Really, really well done. You do not hear our applause this year, but please feel our deep appreciation. Johanna, thank you so much for coming. Uh, let us start with a brief introduction of yourself and the organization you work for, please. Sure, but before, also from my side, congratulations to the awardees, wonderful. My name is Johanna Mank and I am the head of rights and advocacy. And actually I have the pleasure to have been working for Light for the World for 10 years now. Light for the World is a global organization in uh, disability and development. We are enabling eye health services as well as supporting persons with disabilities in the poorest region of the world. Jana, we have been seeing very diverse things from the paper bags in Africa to the orientation system in Turkey to a car wash in Chile. Uh, what did stay in your memory? There will be a lot of things of these projects forever stay in my memory. And what is great because they show all the different important aspects for employment. And we've started with the one on the policy on TVET in Ethiopia. We do need to have great policies in order then for entrepreneurs to actually, or schools like on the technical vocational training to go on. 
We have seen uh, PASS work where sort of specific solutions for autism has been uh, created and really also working with the job coaches and making a business out of that. I mean, amazing. Uh, we have seen um, now the in, in Clumi, um, like having a job portal, so making the bridge between people and the employees. Uh, we have seen the car wash, where people with maybe less education have a job, and it's of course environmentally sound, oh, perfect. Uh, talking about environmentally sound, I mean, the take a paper bag, I mean, great women, think about it. And it's um, fair wages, it's a great business approach, and it's really saving the world. So, did I forget one of them? <laughs> I don't you know, think there so. are so many things, I mean, <laughs> I mean if I have, uh, it's really exceptional. You, you know what, uh, what for me is amazing? I mean, we get this, all these nominations and we, we take a look at the platform and, and you know, we scan some of the pictures and get some videos. And then, you know, half a year later, we see this all on, on video, how clear it becomes the concept. Uh, it's, really, it's really fascinating and amazing and, uh, and, and real great project, well deserved with the Zero Project Award. Johanna, Light for the World runs many employment models in, in low-income countries. Um, what is a common denominator for success? That is a very good question. Uh, let me start with uh, our focus on projects, for example, in Kenya or Uganda, where one of the focus is uh, with the youth. Uh, youth meaning um, a focus on technical and vocational training. And one of the key success uh, uh, points is not to separate rather than to integrate. So open up existing opportunities for persons with disabilities and, um, and sort of increasing the access to, to, to already existing trainings. It's out there. It really opens up the doors for, for youngsters with disabilities. And then um, what is also a factor of success we've also, also seen here in, in, in the videos is um, to work also with the emplo uh, employers. So you train the people and you also need to work with the employers. You need to bring them together and you also need to change the mind of employers about the greatness and opportunities they will have to employ a person with a disability. If you're not working, and in, in, for example in Africa, we have an informal, we have a lot of informal jobs. So in that case, it's important that the young people or all the people who want to get in the, in the business really get a good and sound sort of business approach. And then again, they need to have some seed money. So existing microfinance uh, businesses are out there. Again, and you need to open them up so that persons with disabilities also have access to microcredits. And it works well. So um, one, no, maybe two things I also need to add for success. It's um, what we see in Kenya and Uganda, the young persons with disability are, they have strong voices. And really sort of, they are advocates for themselves. And really let them really go out and make their way, but really support the advocacy of persons with disabilities. And then, as I said, bringing everybody together uh, to make change happen. Very good. I'm a keen listener to radio, uh, and the other day I heard you on, on Austrian TV. Uh, we all live through a, a mm -hmm. pandemic, which is, is really unique because it's global and it uh, yeah. goes on for quite some time. What is paramount to support persons with disabilities in it? Well, first of all, I think we could have another three days on, on the topic on, on COVID, uh, the crisis, uh, persons with disabilities and how how we can uh, create a responsible and sustainable way out of that. First of all, what we've seen from the very beginning, it is important to have accessible information about COVID-19, about measures that have been taken, sort of where have people access to support, and also now to have accessible information about the health situation and about vaccinations. Accessible, of course, we all know it is the sign language, 
it is easy language, it is braille, braille, so all the different aspects. Then, you know, again, the nothing about us without us. So meaning in finding solutions means to include persons with disability in all the aspects in how vaccination plans are being done, in how measures are being done. That is to me such a, you know, it should be, it should be normal, but it isn't. Um, and also thinking about, as this Zero Conference is about employment and work, we know how many people with disabilities in the past 12 months have been, had difficulties in making a wage due to the changes in the job market, due to changes in the economies. And we need to have a specific focus on how now we can find responses so that persons with disability by themselves, again, be able to, um, to make their living. And the last one also, um, what is in, in the discussion all around the world now is the vaccination. Uh, we know uh, first of all, it needs a fair distribution of vaccines around the globe. And then once it's in the country, uh, we also, we know health workers are important, all the people are important, and I have to say, persons with disabilities who have a higher risk for infection, they also need to be there at the first row. So that is one of the things I really want to underline, and whoever is out there working on health plans now, please include persons with disabilities in your vaccination plans right now. Johanna, this conference is about employment for persons with disabilities, and you also sit on, on panels and, uh, and go to different conferences, and I'm always scared if I see the statistics uh, with the gap mm -hmm. between employment figures of persons with and without disabilities. Mm -hmm. What would be your recommendation, if not to close, at least to narrow this gap? Mm -hmm. I think, first of all, it, it's very good that we have the data, because data show the gap. Um, and uh, from the scariness, saying, you oh, know, that's not right, really, to stand up and say, let's change that. Um, and. What I have seen over the past three days here at this fabulous conference, there are all the solutions from what we've seen. Uh, pilot projects, policies all out there. So I think what, it is, what is needed right now to close this gap is that we actually have the leaders to do this. And in, in leaders, I mean, uh, for example, governments. They can, as we have seen, change the policies, change the policies on inclusive education or to make uh, technical training only inclusive. They have, the, they have the power to do that. So we need a few governments as sort of really like the forerunners to do that and others can see it's possible. We also need to have this, and we do have uh, companies as a leader and say, you know, I am changing it. I am including Bank Austria. You know, they are the big ones. And if they start, they can then be, you know, they are leaders and others will follow. They also, um, companies can talk to the government. So they have an influence. Go out there and talk. And the civil society, of course. Um, organization of persons with disabilities. They already raised the voice and the voices all the voices need to be heard. And that leads me for the gap, sort of two more things to fill the gap, of course. A good communication, as it's been done with the Zero Project, on what is possible. And then second, um, we always need to start with inclusive education. We need to start for the children we have now, from the kindergarten, from early age on, to have an inclusive society and have a good education. It's probably, that's a longer term, but it's highly needed. Jan, it's always wonderful to talk to you. Thank you so much for your, for your insight. Um, please stay with me and, uh, and we watch the last part yes. uh, of the award videos. Please go ahead.
What is Allianz Centrale about? Logró que esto se volviera un programa inspiracional para todas las pequeñas, medianas y microempresas del país. De esta forma, sumamos a la cadena de valor y cada día logramos la inclusión en más lugares para que las personas con discapacidad, sin importar en dónde se encuentren, puedan encontrar un trabajo digno. What is unique and innovative about Alianza Entrale? El objetivo de Entrale es que todas las empresas de México se vuelvan incluyentes. Por lo que tenemos que hacer mucho, utilizar herramientas digitales para así poder llegar a todas las empresas del país y a todas las personas con discapacidad del país. De esta forma, estamos logrando que cada día las personas con discapacidad tengan más y mejores oportunidades laborales dentro de las empresas. How did this solution change your life? Yo llegué aquí a Televisa por medio de Entrale y la verdad me abrieron las puertas, fue la mejor opción que yo tenía. Me costó muchísimo trabajo, pero llegué al lugar donde tenía que estar. Agradezco mucho a Entrale, dio la facilidad donde busqué por miles de lugares. How does Alianza Centrale work? El Consejo Mexicano de Negocios quiere que todas las empresas de México se vuelvan 100% importantes. Es por eso que todos los años financia la operación de Entrale. What is next for Alianza Entrale? ¿Qué buscamos de Entrale? Nos encantaría que Entrale no tuviera que ser necesario. Entra y logra su objetivo cuando se deje de hablar de personas con discapacidad y se hable únicamente de personas. Cuando se deje de hablar de inclusión laboral y se hable de trabajo digno para todas las personas. What is Eagle Light Inclusion and Diversity about? We developed a recruitment platform specifically for people with disabilities. Our platform is totally accessible for different kinds of disabilities and we have a behavioral profile test where we are able to match the candidates with the right job opportunity, focus on their potential and not their disability. How does Eagle Light Inclusion and Diversity work? In our business model, we never charge anything from people with disabilities. Our revenue comes from the companies. They pay for our recruitment services and also consulting services to help to better include people with disabilities. What is unique and innovative about Eagleite inclusion and diversity? Our solution is different because we have a totally scalable technology. We started our company in the south of Brazil and we saw that it was important to create impact all over a continental country. So we developed a technology with an algorithm that we are able to match the right candidate with each job opportunity everywhere in Brazil, and why not everywhere in the world. What's next for Eagleite inclusion and diversity? For the future, we hope to grow our enterprise here in Brazil and also take our solution for other parts of the world. We are a part of the Zero Project Impact Transfer that is helping us to understand better how can we take this solution for other countries. So everyone who's interested in knowing more, please contact us. How did this solution help you? porque eu estava na, na outra firma, demorou uma semana para começar aqui. Eu fiz uma entrevista lá com eles lá na, no escritório deles, aí conforme eles acharam, no caso, esse emprego aqui para mim, foi muito bom, porque aqui eu tive uma oportunidade muito boa, aprendi muitas coisas aqui. Eu acho que cresci bastante em questão de... assim, de me empenhar muito nas coisas, me esforçar muito, aprendi bastante coisas, os colegas ajudam também, mas a Igleta foi uma grande oportunidade que me deu aqui.
What is Visor about? De hacer que un punto de atención sea accesible para personas con discapacidad auditiva. El segundo punto tiene relación con que desde cualquier lugar con acceso a internet en cualquier horario se va a poder contar con un intérprete de lengua de señas calificado y de manera instantánea. Y el tercer punto importante es que toda la información que se genere en base a visor va a quedar registrada para la institución y que pueda así, a través de indicadores valiosos, gestionar la inclusión. What is unique and innovative about visor? Tenemos dos alternativas o competencias a visor. La primera son los intérpretes de lengua de señas presenciales que pueden ser contratados por instituciones. Y la segunda es que estas instituciones capaciten a sus equipos en eh, lengua de señas. ¿Por qué desarrollamos visor? Básicamente porque trabajamos con muchas personas sordas y la principal dificultad es que cuando van a distintos lugares tienen muchas dificultades y problemas para poder comunicarse y acceder a la información. Y pensamos en hacer una solución escalable, eficiente y que fuera efectiva en su forma de operar. How does Visa work? El modelo de negocio de Visor se basa principalmente en que muchas industrias tienen que atender y gestionar la inclusión. Entre estos podemos nombrar industrias como el retail, la banca, la educación, los gobiernos, la salud, la justicia. What is next for Visor? ¿Cuál es nuestra estrategia y hacia dónde vamos con Visor? Primero vamos a comenzar a implementarlo en muchas más industrias y lugares. Vamos también a ampliar nuestras redes con organizaciones locales en distintos países de Latinoamérica para llegar a más personas y a mayor cobertura. Estamos hoy en día trabajando en el desarrollo y la operación de una app que permita que eh, personas con discapacidad auditiva tengan y cuenten con un intérprete en su bolsillo, en su celular. Y estamos también considerando el trabajo de, de cómo incorporar inteligencia artificial en un camino de mediano y largo plazo para dar mayor efectividad y acceso a las personas con discapacidad auditiva. What is Fable about? With Fable, companies can collaborate with people with disabilities, actually work together so that they can consider the full spectrum of people as they build digital products. For people with disabilities, Fable is flexible employment. For companies, Fable is on-demand access to experts. It's a true and trusted process to build better products. How does Fable work? Digital teams use Fable as part of the process of building apps and websites. Accessibility is not a project. We help companies build an inclusive habit. Through a subscription, companies can embed the voices of people with disabilities in their processes and on a regular basis. We've raised capital from forward-thinking investors who see the need for an inclusive digital world. What is unique and innovative about Fable? When it comes to working on digital accessibility, companies are often deciding between automated tools or traditional consulting services. Unfortunately, there are limitations with each of these options. What if digital teams could connect with the right user at the right time and on demand. That's what we're doing at Fable. And the reason we're doing this, to make inclusive design efficient. What is next for Fable? Inclusive design recognizes the uniqueness of every individual. And we need to address the fact that there is no such thing as an average user experience. To get there, we need to involve people with disabilities directly in the process of creating products and services. Fable believes that people with disabilities should be able to fully participate, produce, and contribute in the digital world, not just test it. How did this solution help you?
My name is Kai, I'm 24, and I currently study kinesiology at York University. I'm also very much a tech enthusiast. I found Fable where it emphasized community, and I hope to be doing some good things for the assistive tech industry, whether it's contributing by teaching or doing usability testing and getting to know other people who express similar interests. What is Centro de Relevo about? The essential elements of the innovation are that the Centro de Relevo is a reasonable adjustment that breaks down the barriers for the full access of the deaf community to any participation instance that allows their integral development in society. How does Centro de Relevo work? Centro de Relevo is a social impact project that requires permanent funding from the national government. At the moment, the ICT ministry finances the 95% and FENASCOL 5%. However, Colombian laws allow in the short term the project to be financed by private companies. What is unique and innovative about Centro de Relevo? Centro de Relevo is special, considering that enables the independence of deaf people using their own language by accessing an interpreter without an appointment. It was created by the great need for communication of deaf people in all areas of daily life. The impact of this tool is that every day it is more used and needed in Colombia, transcending other countries that have replicated it, such as Paraguay and Bolivia. What is next for Centro de Relevo? Advocate so that the project is included in public policies of the different Latin American governments and that in Colombia, the budget can be increased by the state in order to be able to serve a larger population, facilitating access to the internet in all the corners of Colombia. Further development requires continuing to innovate with technology with accessible solutions. How did this solution help you? With the quarantine happened by the COVID-19, I had to work from home. My boss told me that I should work from here. However, I also had to enter meetings with my co-workers through Zoom. I wondered how to access the information in these meetings. Well, thanks to the online interpretation service, I am able to access normally. Congratulations to all winners. We really appreciate your work. Please continue. This was the last session of the AWD hours. Uh, you have seen a total of 78 contributions out of the 82 winners. We are streaming live from Vienna. Uh, and this afternoon we have Johanna Mang uh, in the studio. And since we have some time left, Johanna, your impression of the second part of the video. Great impression and also from my side, congratulations. This is really excellent. And um, let me start with the last one, which sort of is um, has also the link to the one in Chile about uh, services in translation uh, in sign languages, which we know is so direly needed and having that online and then providing the opportunity for persons who need that service to have a wider reach for translation, uh, excellent. 
Uh, and we've heard uh, it's going to be in, in uh, Bolivia, in Paraguay, maybe in all the other uh, Latin America countries. So May, may I add here, Finascol, uh, the one from, from Colombia was also a, a, a Zero Project FOD winner in 2017. Very promising, we thought, because it, uh, it offers um, sign language support. Uh, and we have really seen how they have grown in the last four, year, four years. Excellent. I think that that is so encouraging that um, something starts and we see when it's needed that it can grow. We need that translation. We need the sign language. Of course, we need much more. Uh, so please go on. I also thought like quite interesting from, from Mexico that the Chamber of Commerce, Commerce um, really steps in and uh, really reaches out to, to, their, um, comp to the companies uh, because it is so needed that the perception of persons with disabilities change and this kind of communication and that the Chamber of Commerce, Commerce does that is I think so highly needed and again, please, more of that and other chambers of, com uh, of commerce around the world look to Mexico and also do it. Um, we've also had then the, the project from Canada. Uh, and I, I think that's, that's fantastic mainstreaming project in a way in ensuring uh, the accessibility in, in the digital world. And again, what we've heard also in the digital world, how important it is, be it in COVID, be it in under, other times, that is part of our future and making that more accessible will contribute to a greater participation and will help all of us to communicate and to be connected and to be one of these great networks in to bring about change. Johanna, thank you so much. You're welcome. And thank you again for the great projects and congratulations to the Zero Project Conference. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. This concludes uh, the awardees for this year. Uh, with a sad eye, we have to say, uh, it really, it's the end of a long process which started uh, in spring of, uh, of last year. Uh, congratulations to the winners and uh, please uh, continue. Of course, please continue to support the Zero Project. Uh, we will issue the next call. It will be on accessibility and on ICT, which stands for Information and Communication Technology. And as, as Johanna just said, we also think that we cannot escape technology we can only try to use it and to grab it and to bring it in the direction that is useful and beneficial for persons with disability.